Hi, this is Universal Vibes with the 411 2020. So what I have is a number draw here. So this is just going to be quick because this does not apply to everyone. Okay. And this is a pretty much like a hot mess. Okay. So those of you that were looking for guidance from me, whoever is going to see this, um, I'm going to tell you what the issue is here with the situation. Because you're blaming, you're blaming somebody who is not to blame for the failure of your situation. Okay. Now, whether this is romantic, whether this is um, career, whether this is just your situation in life right now, um, what we have are, we have three tens, okay? So when I see three tens in a read with a number draw, by the way, I use Fredericks and May card playing deck for this. And I don't necessarily interpret the cards the way that they're usually interpreted by basic structure, okay? So I'm an intuitive, uh, plus I channel. And so when I meditated on this, um, the three tens here, here's, you know, 10, 10, 10, like right here in a triangle, right? And then we got, we have the three of spades, which is heartbreak, okay? So this is the past tense energy slash present if you're still stuck in this. So a person took action on a situation based off what they thought was the best course of action. And the, the background on, on why they took the action for this situation was financial gain only, okay? So we all know when you, um, when you take any sort of like a financial gain, like uh, if money is like the root of the reason why you're doing something, if it's not in business, okay, because business is a little, little different, okay, um, then you kind of get screwed over, okay, and sometimes in business you get screwed over if you're uh, so in your ego, right, so, but this had a purpose here, so the action that was taken was going against somebody's wisdom, right, so somebody was not thinking, this could be in the past or this could be present going into now. Just depends on your situation. And also I've been told when I, when I say stuff, I'm kind of three months ahead uh, by the viewers that I have, my subscribers. They tell me that I'm three months ahead of the timeline that they're in. Now, I don't have that many subscribers and that's fine with me because this is like something I love to do. Okay, so it doesn't matter to me. I'm still going to do it. Um, however, uh, I've been told that the things that, that uh, end up coming into reality, the things that I say, are usually three months ahead. So that's something for you guys to know. This cannot, this, even though I'm doing it today, right before February, doesn't mean that if this doesn't happen in a week or two weeks or whatever, Basically, what I'm trying to say is it's timeless, okay? So whenever you're guided to see the reading or whenever you actually put it together, you will probably think about this reading and be like, oh, okay, now I see, okay? So um, getting back to the read here, there is a, uh, a situation that's ending, okay? Three tens, that's endings, okay? It's completions, actually. And so you should be happy. So... Um, so when things end, then, so when one door closes, another one opens. We all know this, right? We've heard this our whole life. And it's actually very realistic to the read. Because when you close this door on this um, mess, this is a hot mess read, okay? When you close this door on this hot mess situation, what's going to happen is your spiritual growth is going to heighten. Okay, and so when spiritual growth heightens, then your third eye is more activated in order for you to take an actual action later. 
because this is prepping you for the next situation. Okay, so this is somebody or a group of the collective um, who has been dealing with a situation for at least a decade. And so with the guides, the higher ups, whatever you want to call them, angels, Jesus Christ consciousness, God consciousness, which is just you, okay? Um, your higher self coming integrated into your body. Um, what they want you to know is that this has to end for your abundance cycle. So the reason, okay, so right now or shortly, somebody is going to reminisce on this, okay, this ending. However, they don't see that shutting that door and locking it is going to open three other doors in the hallway, okay, of spirituality, like spiritual growth. Um, and when those other three doors are open, then boom, you finally have options. You're not stuck, you know, in this um, nasty soul tie karmic cycle. Like, okay, so everything is karmic. However, we have karma and dharma. So sometimes our karma is really, you know, um, beneficial to us because we did a good deed and boom, we get karma for it, right? But, you know, certain people call it dharma and I call it dharma. So there's a dharma cycle that's going to happen. And this is because somebody, um, whoever you are, you went through the crap for a 10 year period. This is like a decade I'm seeing and you stayed in this situation. This could have been a marriage. I don't know your life and I don't like getting into it anymore. Because every time that I meditate and get into people's life, it takes me a week to get your energy off me. So I don't do that anymore. I just meditate on basics, okay? So the basics are, this is a really good ending, okay? To a lot of drama, right? But you need to understand the lesson for you not to repeat the drama with another person, okay? or another um, company, okay? Or another group of people, okay? So, as long as you understand that the karma was you taking action on something for money, uh, financial, financial only, and that's all you did it for, um, there was no wish fulfillment, slash will, will be none. There will only be heartache in this. Because if you do something for solely based financial abundance, um, greed, ego, you know, whatever it is, then it'll be taken, okay? That's just the way that the wheel spins, okay? And you want to stay on top in your integrity. So those of you that don't know about the karma and dharma thing, okay, you can, um, you can stay on top of the wheel as long as possible by staying in your integrity and having patience with other people, being resilient in your field, being resilient in uh, your relationship and showing, uh, you know, uh, loyalty, showing, you know, hey, I'm all in. You know, even though the person that you might be hooked to or, you know, chained to through whatever, marriage, this and that, by not giving up, that creates dharma, okay? And so, and by you not messing up in life, that creates even more dharma. By you staying in your integrity and saying, okay, I'm going to see this through. Um, I'm going to do the best I can. Um, and because, you know, whatever the situation is. However, on the karma side, if you're staying into a relationship based off of financial means, uh -uh. no, you're going to get screwed. This is what the whole spread's about. Okay, so if you're doing it for the lower vibrational reason, okay, which is a lesson you need to go through for your spiritual growth. So we all do stupid stuff. We all have to go through lessons because that's how we learn, okay? So don't judge other people for, you know, these things. You just don't do that. It's stupid because you've done stupid stuff too, right? So this is like the beginning process of truth, right? And so in order to get to your north node, and you need to, um, all of you who watch my channel, look up what your north node is, 
That's the most important portion. Your north and your south node is the most important portion of your chart. I don't care what anybody else says, okay? It's the most important per portion. Now, if you walk away from your destiny and you stay in this dead-end situation, those of you who are choosing to stay for money um, at this job and just be tied into this like burdening uh, feeling, right? Thinking that one day you're going to get the uh, recognition or you can just keep your financial abundance at this job because all other jobs that you applied for aren't going to pay you as much or uh, you won't have the prestige at the other job. You'll have to work from the bottom all the way back to the top. Well, let me tell you something. We all have to do that, okay? It doesn't matter what professional field that you're in, okay? You can be in medical. You can be in um, uh, just anything, okay? I'll use medical as an example because that's what I do. So if, if, if you move states, okay, like I did, gosh, I don't even, okay, then you got to start kind of at the bottom again, okay? And, and then you work your way up. You prove yourself, hey, I know this, I know that, right? And then people in the group, the team of medical that work with you at the hospital, wherever you guys work, they start to trust your intelligence. They're like, okay, you know, so-and-so knows what they're doing. They've proven it over this period of time, which is patience, right? But sometimes you just gotta start at the bottom when you start your whole life over. So if you're afraid to go into a new company or a, a uh, I'm not saying uh, lose your, um, your career path, like what you've studied for. I'm telling you, if you go back into the same career path but you have to leave and, and start all over with somebody else in a different company, don't be afraid of what you know. Just because you're, you're high on the wheel today, right, at your current company, doesn't mean that you won't be high on the wheel tomorrow at the new company. But it does require dedication and work. But you do get rewarded for this through your patience and your resilience. And if you really know what you're doing, then it doesn't matter what company you go work for. Okay. This is the basis of the read, and it's telling you to quit juggling. Okay. And it's also telling you to uh, send that letter out to the company. Or um, if this is a breakup or you're filing for divorce, go ahead and uh, serve them. Okay. This is what this is telling you. Go ahead and break ties here because you have the wisdom and you have the resilience. You just need to take the initiative with what you know. You know you're not happy in something. And so, therefore, that means you need to go to something new, okay? Common sense. If you're not happy, it's going to get worse. It's going to go down and down and down and down. One day you're on top, next day you're completely crap out of luck. And you don't want that to happen. Quit juggling this. Create a new path. Go towards a new initiative, right? In the same, if this is career, in the same career because you already know something, right? And you're very gifted at this. Very gifted. Get out of your head. Release all the fears about what if I don't. You'll do just fine. Trust me. And you're guided to do this and detach from this unfulfilled wish that you've been juggling. Well, maybe one day it'll get better. Maybe one day I'll get recognized. Whether it's by my partner or whether it's by my uh, manager. Whether it's by whatever. Okay? No. If you if you have not in the past, you know, if you have not been happy for a, a certain amount of time, why waste more time? This is a new decade. Okay? And the, and the biggest part of this decade starts on February 1st. Okay? February 1st. Not January. February. By you speaking your truth and aligning yourself in your truth, you will come to a point of prosperity, recognition, reciprocity. It's just taking that leap and not being afraid of it. Not being afraid to walk away. Because walking away is the truth to change the others. Okay, Whoever the other person is or other group is, when you walk away and walk out, 
And don't, like, if you have a job, don't walk out on a job until you have another one. Obviously, that's common sense, right? But, um, <laughs> but um, I'm not saying, okay, if this is a relationship, don't be walking out on whoever and then have somebody on the side because you're just going to ruin that relationship. You need time to heal, okay, to find your truth, right? But if this is job, which is separate, we have two parts of our brain, right? Okay, so if this is job, then um, walking away into your truth, you have another job lined up, right? Or at least a few interviews, hopefully, okay? That's all I'm going to give you guys. And then I'm going to come back and do a new reading because this was very specific for a certain group of you guys. Also, what I used in this reading was Soul Trees Oracle Cards. And I'm pretty sure you can only buy these on Etsy. This is one of my favorite decks when things get complicated. They show quite a bit. All right. That's all I have. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes.